I will have another example in which it is going to be a only the it would not be a strict sense itself. Let me start with the example in which this stochastic process is a strict sense stationary process the given x t is a strict sense stationary process with the finite second order moment. So, you do not want the finite second order moment for the strict sense stationary process, but I have taken as example the given x t is going to be a strict sense stationary process along with the finite second order moment. Now, I am going to define the another stochastic process with the random variable y of t that is a a plus b t plus x of t. So, this is going to be a stochastic process this is a stochastic process y t. Now, we want to check whether the y t is going to be a stationary strict sense stationary process or not. As well as whether this is going to be a wide sense stationary or not. The x t is a strict sense stationary process. Suppose, you find out the mean for this random variable. mean for this random variable, if you find out the mean for the y of t, where a and b are constant. Therefore, this is going to be a function of t. Since, a and b are constant, the mean of y of t is a function of t. Therefore, this is a function of t. Since, it is not satisfying the first property of the first condition to become a white sense stationary process. Therefore, the y of t is not a white sense stationary process. We started with the six sense stationary process and we created the new stochastic process y of t that is a plus b t of x t plus x t, where a and b are constant. Now, if you find out the mean of y of t mean function that is going to be a function of t that is nothing, but that depends on t. Therefore, y t is not going to be a white sense stationary process, whereas x t is a strict sense. Now, similarly you can cross check whether the joint distribution of a y of t and shifted by h t shifted by h, you can conclude this is also not going to be a, since it is a function of a t, since it is a, the mean is going to be a function of t and the y of t also involves the function of t as well as x of t. Even though x of t is a strict sense stationary process, the way you made a a plus b t plus x t, you, you will land up the joint distributions are going to be different by the t with the shifted uh, t plus h it would not be satisfied. Therefore, you can conclude y of t is not a strict sense stationary process also. That means, from this example we can conclude whenever you have a strict sense stationary process, if you make a, a plus b t plus x t definitely the y of t is not going to be a wide sense stationary process as well as a strict sense stationary process. We will go for the third example. In this third example, let me start with the stochastic process 
B A here this each random variables are uncorrelated random variables. with the mean of each random variable is going to be some constant k, which may be assumed to be 0 in some situation. So, in general you keep the mean of each random variable is going to be some constant k. And you make a x of m, x of n that is going to be its variance for m is equal to n and for all other quantity you make it 0. Not only this each random variables are uncorrelated random variable that means if you find out the correlation coefficient that is going to be 0 and the mean is going to be constant and the expectation of the product of any two random variables if they are different it is 0. And obviously, if they are same since uh, you make the assumption therefore, this is going to be a variance sigma square. If you cross check all the properties of uh, all the conditions of the white sense stationarity properties starting with the mean function and uh, second order moment exists that is finite and the covariance function of any two random variables is going to be a function of only the difference that all those three conditions are going to be satisfied. Therefore, you can come to the conclusion I am not working out here this is going to be a weekly stationary process or white sense stationary process or it is going to be called it as a covariance stationary process also. And this stochastic process is also called a white noise process. This is very important in the signal processing. You keep the uncorrelated random variable with this assumption the mean is going to be a constant which may be 0 and the product of expectation is going to be the this values and this is going to be a weakly stationary process in the sense it satisfies all three conditions of that weak sense or white sense stationary process and this stochastic process is called a white noise process. Note that this stochastic process we did not make the distribution of uh, each random variable x n, what is the distribution of x n is not defined here. Without that we we give the all the assumptions of the mean and variance. Therefore, this is going to be very useful in the time series analysis as well as the signal processing and this particular stochastic process is called the white noise and sometimes we make the assumption the x n's are going to be normally distributed random variable also, but in general we will not define, we will not give what is the assumption, what is the distribution of x n. Without that this stochastic process is going to be called as a white noise process. Addition to the white sense stationary process, one can assume one can assume that ergodic property also satisfied along with the white sense stationary property For illustration purpose, we have discussed Bernoulli process. That means, uh, the given stochastic process is a white sense stationary process as well as it is the ergodic properties also satisfied. In that case, the mean function is going to be a some 
independent of t that you can make it as the mu and the auto covariance function is going to be a power of tau only because it is a white sun stationary process. Therefore, the mean is independent of t and uh, the auto correlation function is going to be a function with the only tau and uh, we have a ergodic property. Therefore, you can find the mean can be estimated from the time average. So, this is possible only if the ergodic property is satisfied. So, the mean can be estimated with the up arrow that means, the estimator estimation of a mean that is same as 1 divided by 2 times t and uh, minus t 2 t of x of t d t. So, this is possible as long as the stochastic process is. Uh, so, in general I define t belonging to capital T, that t is different from this t. So, here you have the time interval of the length to t within the 2 t, if you find out the time average and that time average quantity is going to be the estimation for the mean. That means, uh, if a mu t converges in the squared mean to mu as a t tends to infinity, then the process is going to be a mean ergodic, that stochastic process is going to be called it as a mean ergodic process. Similarly, one can estimate other higher order moments also provided the process is ergodic with respect to those moments. So, here I have made the ergodic with respect to the mean, therefore, you are estimating the mean with the ergodic property. Similarly, if uh, the given stochastic process is satisfying the ergodic property with the higher order moment, then those measures also can be estimated in the same way. So, here the mu t converges in means in squared mean to mu as a t tends to infinity. So, that is the conclusion we are getting from the ergodic property along with the white sun stationary property. With this, let me stop the today's lecture and some more uh, examples for the stationary process. So, maybe those example may be a white sun stationary process or stick sun stationary process that I am going to give in the next lecture. So, in the today's lecture what I have covered is uh, what is a stationary process and uh, to conclude or for a given stochastic process is going to be a stationary process for that we have given few uh, some definitions. So, with those definitions we can come to the conclusion the given stochastic process is going to be a white sun stationary process or strict sun stationary process and I have given uh, three examples in today's lecture and I will give uh, two more examples of a stationary process in the next lecture. Then I will go for some simple stationary process that is auto regressive process and uh, moving average process and uh, some more uh, stochastic process uh, for the stationary process example. I will give it in the lecture 2. With this, the today's lecture is over. Thanks.